Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm back with another fragrance review today. It's going to be a niche house once again. And I would like to explain to you one thing before I start the review or doing the intro. Some of the people are commenting why are you not reviewing any more designer fragrances. The reason is pretty simple. It's not I've fallen out of love with designer fragrance or I'm done. It's just that last few weeks or so, or let's say a couple of months was not really good for business and uh, I'm not really being able to purchase a lot of new fragrances. I did buy a few cheapies, but those reviews are done. I did some, uh, like say, um, official samples, you know, decants, reviews, but mostly what I'm reviewing right now are the bottles that are uh, give, being given to me kindly by my <laughs> brothers and sisters, whoever, or my best friend. I'm just reviewing other people's fragrances, and that's it, that's pretty much it. And uh, it's a coincidence that it's mostly niche perfumes. Um, some people may like it, some people may not like it, but that's the reality. And at this present point, you know, like, I do not really see that many designer fragrance. I have like Savage Parfum, I'm 50-50 on that, I'm not sure. So if I buy that, I'll review it. But apart from that, not really that many unique fragrances out there. So <laughs> that's the reason, okay? So those who are confused, I'm not changing my pattern of work. I still love my designers. I love my fragrances, always the same. Cheap, expensive, doesn't matter as long as they smell good. So let's hit the review. I'm very excited today uh, to do this fragrance review because this is my very first review from this house. And I'm not quite sure how you say the, pronounce the like uh, name, but here's the fragrance house. It's called Tiziana Terenzi. Very unique name. Uh, and I keep, I don't know why, it's like always coming to me, Tiziana Terenzi, you know, like uh, the D, you know, like because the Z is kind of has like a kick. So I heard it's Tiziana Terenzi. I've seen few reviews and the fragrance called Kirk or Kirke. Different names I heard. So this is basically a fragrance I'm going to review. And thanks to Mr. Anis Zaman, Anis Bhai, who is a dear friend of mine. He let me review a lot of his fragrances. And in upcoming days, I'll review perhaps some more of his niche collection because he likes collecting a lot of niche perfumes. So thank you, brother. So this is going to be really exciting. So first of all, another thing, not first of all, second of all, I'm wearing Bois du Portugal. Finally, yes, I got to try the fragrance on me. And this is thanks to another brother who lent me this bottle to review. I'm wearing it here. Amazing fragrance. I'm just going to go like uh, with full flow with this fragrance when I review it. Okay, this is my scent of the late night. So this fragrance particular, Kirk or Kirke, let's say Kirk, uh, this fragrance is... Uh, comes in four part presentation. First of all, you're gonna get this beautiful box. This fragrance is 100 ml ED extra day perfume, cost in Bangladesh around uh, more or less 10,000 taka. That translates to 120 to 130 dollars. I'm not quite sure that the rate right now, currency exchange rate, but it's around like 120 dollars. So pretty cheap or pretty affordable for a designer house for 100 ml, I, I would say. And this is made in Italy. They have different lines, I'll show you in a bit and this is one of their top sellers so pretty sure this is leaning more towards feminine side but guys can wear it too if you like sospiro erba pura or research of they have the same fragrance they changed the line now i guess and extremely sweet fruity kind of like a beast mode perfume this is very close to that if you love that you can check it out so this fragrance comes in this kind of box very nice high class presentation very hard cardboard box I don't know what this one stands for. Um, XTE, I don't know really. And this is some artwork in front. The name of the fragrance, Extra Day Parfum. Yes, natural spray. Up there the name. The back is made in Italy and then something uh, quoted by Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci, the artist, okay? Uh, so inside, I took out the bottle already. Looks like that and here it's inside the box pretty much. So pretty nice presentation and there's a cap inside they give you an inch like a extra cap it's really difficult to put it on the thing i am not really big fan of these caps okay i'll tell you in a bit why and here some information the second part like there are two other parts here are the two leaflets very high class good touch to it they give you the fragrance description and the notes breakdown sort of on the first page here of the fragrance and then they describe their fragrance and all, all that the other one, they give you a catalog of the whole fragrance line, which I really love. They have a lot of fragrance on the collection, different lines. They have more upper class, more expensive, um, you know, so pretty nice. I 
you know, I'm not going to spend so much time on talking about that because it's about the fragrance and here's the bottle. Uh, I like the bottle, it looks nice, nice big cap, kind of like a matte cap. And I believe I saw one fragrance that is similar to Aventus, which has a very nice artwork up the top in the cap. That one, I forgot the name. Very nice uh, golden painted. This is glass, I believe, the fragrance name. It's a kind of like a sticker. I think this is kind of suede-like material. So Kirk, Tiziana Terenzi. Bottom is your other information, a lot of information. The cap, I don't know it's just this bottle or not. It's not really, I'm not really liking this cap. Uh, the reason being, it's not really snug fit. It doesn't have so much space to sit and feels very insecure. I would suggest do not pick up the bottle by the cap. Another thing is this box, I also do not like at one aspect. That is, I'll show you. These boxes are not really like snug fit. See what happens when I try to pick up the box. If it says it's like, if let's say it's like this, try to pick it up. It's just like so loose. Okay. It's like so loose, if the bottle is in there, it's going to fall and break. So, not really a uh, very big fan of that. Okay, let's hit the review. I spent so much time talking about this. So, this fragrance is basically a fruit bomb. It's like a fruity bomb sort of a fragrance. It's beast mode. It's going to last on you easily like Sospiro Herbapura does. I have reviewed a clone of uh, Herbapura before from Paris Corner. That's very inexpensive. That has exact same smell as this. Good lasting part on that as well for a fraction of a price. Another fragrance I did see in Al Haramein, I never tried, is Amber Gold Oud, Amber Gold something. There's this Amber line, very expensive for 75 mil, about the same price ratio. So that one I haven't tried, but people say it's very similar to this and Herbapura. So now, what else you're going to get? Let me show you a can and you'll see what I mean. You see this juice can, you see the passion fruit. I see a lot of other fruits going on, mango, like a tropical fruits and stuff this is a tropical fruit blast you're gonna get pomegranate you're gonna get cassis black currant you're gonna get uh kind of like let me spray this once again it's really really strong i do not like to spray so much of it but it has good sprayer okay sprayer okay it's it hits you with a beautiful the opening is just gorgeous it's really really beautiful no uh, synthetic smell no annoying opening it has some similarity to Kind of like Hachiba that I reviewed from House of uh, was the house Nishan uh, that I didn't like because that was loud. This is also loud but in a bit better way. It has, I'm not gonna say it has Aventus vibe but does have that fruity aspect of Aventus in this. So it kind of smells like this uh, musky sweetness background, the vanilla that you know, kind of like you get from Hachiba. You're also gonna get from this but in better ways. Yes, this fragrance will suit women better because this sweet fragrance, fruity fragrance, it's very feminine. But guys do like ultra male. If you like something sweet and you just want to get something niche quality, this actually kind of you can also see as a clone house perhaps, but I'm not sure. But uh, a lot of niche fragrances, they do that PDM, uh, perfumes vintage. They do that all the time. This fragrance, a uh, house, a lot of people love, all right? So rather, Anis really loves this fragrance, okay? You can use it as a husband and wife, you know, as a couple. A whole house can use this basically, but uh, the one of the things that you have to be careful, do not wear this every day. You can get sick of this in five days. Wearing it for back to back five days, you'll be bored. This fragrance is very, very predictable. Uh, it's sweet, it's good, but it's predictable, sweet, good. If you understand what I mean. It's not as interesting or as a, uh, it doesn't change so much as mysterious way. It is very, very predictable. You wear this, you know what to expect from it. It's just lovely, gorgeous, but wear it like five days a month, okay? Pick up your special days to lift your mood. You want to wear something beast mode, very windy day, kind of like mild, cooler day. This will be lovely. Uh, I can also see this for party wearing. If you are going to a party, uh, like let's say um, you are a dude, Perhaps you'll not have so much confidence as Amouage uh, Interlude Man, like you want to smell like a dude, hardcore, tough. This is not it. This, you smell, people smell this on you. Uh, people will, uh, perhaps, guys will ask you for your number if you're a dude, if you know what I mean. So that's not a bad thing. I like getting compliments like that. Like, I was once asked, just once in my life, like, hey, hi, may I have your number? I said, sure, but you know. I have a girlfriend <laughs> so that's not a bad thing i do not take offense for it and i think it's absolutely nice when you get a compliment for your fragrance but this is going to be really lovely on a woman not a woman woman and uh, i believe this is good quality fragrance really good value if you think of 
longevity, X-ray perform exactly like you get that sort of performance from it. So this or Sospiro, I think Sospiro is going to cost you around $200 in Bangladesh if you really look for a deal. Around $200 or below, but it's going to be cheaper than that. So bottle presentation wise, no problem, but rear job, you know, they have their status. So if you want to get rear job, you can buy that, no problem, beautiful bottle as well. Nice heavy cap, metallic cap. Also, you can get this or even the Haramein version or even the cheap version that I did. So basically, it's a nice fragrance, lovely fragrance, but very predictable. So Hachivat was a fragrance I did not, um, I would say, not being a snobbish because I do not own it or I cannot afford it or something, but it's a fragrance even if I could afford, I would not buy it. Like Hachivat, this one I perhaps would buy because it's very entertaining at times, you know, like weekends, like picnics and you just want to have fun time with people. You don't want to smell anything serious, kanky, oud. You don't want to do any of that. You don't want to do any nasty jobs <laughs> that is dusty, oud, leather, incense. You just want to smell happy at the weekends, holidays. This is a nice little fragrance for that. So what else you get? You get fruits, mask, I get vanilla, a lot of fruits. Trust me, it's like a tropical fruit punch, that kind of a fragrance, but with a milky sort of a dry down really lovely if you're into that kind of fragrances so good fragrance to buy great fragrance if you really are just getting into the game and you just started collecting niche perfume something upper class with good performance perhaps you can consider this it's kind of like those easy dumb rich sort of fragrance you don't have to think so much you don't have to worry so much just pick it up apply smell good for whole day that's about it so kirk i like it tiziana terenzi is it an absolute love Yes, it is at this moment. If I wait for five days, it will be a like, if you understand my sentiments. So overall, this fragrance for quality, everything, it's a 10. Quality wise, it's 10. But exactly how entertaining is the fragrance? I would say uh, in my world, it's 8.5 out of 10. It's good, but could be greater if the dry down went some more interesting, but they just played safe with it. So it's a nice fragrance, good fragrance and a nice niche fragrance as well. So check out this fragrance. Thanks Anis Bhai for letting me review this and thanks for watching guys. Uh, tomorrow perhaps I'll do a few more reviews. So signing out, good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.